everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Free will is a gift often taken for granted. God gave us the ability to choose how we live our lives in every moment, even knowing that we're bound to make mistakes. Saint Cesar de Bus was a man who made many, many mistakes, but chose to turn away from them and toward a new life. Cesar was born in 1544 in France and had an easy upbringing and a strong Catholic family. However, he grew up into his teenage years and beyond, becoming restless and uncertain of what he wanted to do with his life. He jumped back and forth between multiple careers before eventually settling on being part of the French military, but a sudden illness prevented him from seeing this plan through. Feeling lost and disappointed with his life, he traveled to Paris and began an unfocused pursuit of worldly comforts and entertainment. His faith, once an important part of his life, was set aside as he indulged himself for three years. One night, as he set out looking for entertainment, he experienced a powerful conversion. Suddenly struck by the aimlessness of his life and realizing how much he must have offended God, he returned home immediately and spent the night in prayer. Cesar soon discovered that the best thing he could do for himself was to become a priest. He spent the coming years studying doggedly and turning his life around. At 38 years old, he was ordained into the priesthood. The new priest became inspired by the story of St. Charles Borromeo, his contemporary who died in 1584, just two years after Cesar's ordination. St. Charles was known as a champion of catechesis, and Cesar, in learning about him, saw the importance of promoting deeper knowledge of the faith. Cesar went out to the remote corners of the country, making it his mission to teach those who had little understanding of Catholicism and little chance to reach an understanding. He appealed to people from all walks of life by speaking simply and by connecting scripture to ordinary things. He saw an opportunity to deepen the faith in every aspect of life, which is expressed in one of his quotes, everything in us must become a living catechism. His work toward fostering understanding culminated in the creation of an order of priests called the Fathers of Christian Doctrine, who made it their goal to teach the uninformed and prevent popular heresies from spreading. Cesar de Bus died in 1607. He left behind a legacy of learning, including five volumes on the catechism, which have been reprinted and can still be read today. He was beatified in 1975 and canonized in 2022. Some might say that Cesar wasted his early life, and maybe he did, but that's in part why his story is so inspiring. The beauty of free will is that it doesn't matter if we're unflinchingly faithful or in the depths of sin that we feel we can't ever escape from. We always have the ability at any moment to choose God. We don't have to earn his love. He's just waiting for us to accept it, to respond to it. And as Cesar would undoubtedly remind us, a great place to start is learning more about the faith. Saint Cesar de Bus, pray for us.